We're at Wawa, and their blueberry coffee is back, and I love blueberry coffee. Theirs is very good. Now we're at a, what would you call it, a greenhouse? And they have the most beautiful spring flowers. And then we went into their greenhouse, and it was so warm and wonderful, and they had such a variety of plants. Hey, look at this big mug. Well, I guess technically it's for planting. That's <laughs> fine. You have a big latte on there. Oh, look at this little gazing ball. Which one? That one. Yeah. A succulent? There is. Like being the spy traps. Now I'm at an antique store, a consignment store. Uh, they have some things that are new. So a lot of interior designers come here to find some things and I like to find treasures. So I thought I'd share my favorite booth. This is Margaret's booth and you might remember her from when I got my marble table for the kitchen. And we have the same aesthetic. She loves fancy things, romantic things. There's so many things in here that uh, I would like to have. Beautiful dishes, china, things from France. Lots of little treasures. I like that cut glass there. I have a few of those. And she has beautiful display cases as well. And they're all for sale. So this gorgeous, probably French vitrine. And she's got perfume bottles in there. So this is not her booth, but still beautiful things. Little atomizer, some stone fruit, a couple clothes pieces, never noticed that before. And I thought this green, was that cut to clear green? Really beautiful. I've been noticing that in a, a few places that I've been to recently. Here are some nice handkerchiefs, so I thought I'd look through and see if any caught my eye. I honestly don't collect too many of them, but if they have a nice monogram on them, or I like Christmas ones too. They're always fun to wrap up your Christmas decorations with, so it's festive and useful. This was the deck of playing cards. That was a really cool box. And she has some beautiful linens. I was looking at this set to see if it was monogrammed or not. And it wasn't. I wish I knew more about different types of lace and what they're called. And that's a whole case full of jewelry, which I totally forgot to look through. But I found a pin in there last time I went. Cherubs, fancy things, pedestals, cool screen there. There I am waving high. And all of her cabinets are open, which is awesome. You don't have to ask someone to come and open them for you. I love this dresser box. It's uh, like a heavy porcelain with that power blue and then that gold initials painted on. And it was reduced from 50 down to 40. I also have to remember to look up because she's got chandeliers light fixtures, lots of oil paintings. You can just see that romance in the paintings. Looks like a dining room set. This is neat, a paper mache box set, Fleur de Lis. I looked at the bottom, I believe it said made in India. 
that's nice. You could hang that on the wall and, you know, it would be lightweight. You could store some stuff in it. I love these plates. They're handmade. They're signed by the artist on the back, but they're glass plates that have this decoupage and gold and then reverse painted with green. And I love the asparagus. She's got lots of jewelry, and like I said, nothing's locked up, so it's nice that you can actually look at the pieces. You don't have to bother someone. Um, you can pick them up, check them out. I got a coral necklace from her before. Got a little uh, rhinestone bar pin last time. All different styles. She had a lot of Mary DeMarco. Colorful, modern, old. That was a compact. It was neat how it was like the powder and the lipstick combined. Lots of glass paperweights. And I had to share the pattern on these seats. Oh, I loved the color. I loved the design. Here's some more jewelry. Oh, I know what I got from her. I got those uh, rhinestone dragonflies, which I haven't used yet because I love them so much. Whatever I use them for, I want to just be positive, whether it's turning them into a pin or adding them to a perfume bottle or framing it somehow. I really liked those purple stones, but they were $15. A lot of clip earrings. I like the mix of all the colors and stones. Definitely worth the time to sort through and try and find a treasure. And this is a linen that I have had my eye on for probably the past two years. It's neat. It is this silky, silky sheet. It'd be perfect in the summer when it's hot. And someone like inset lace in a monogram. And I love that style of lace too. I think it's French lace. So there's actually two that are similar. Different lace, different pink, but still that idea of the lace on that really cool, slick, like, satin or something like that. I'm not too good with uh, fabrics either. <laughs> There's a syrup jar there and I love this ballerina. She had little rhinestones on her tutu. She was pretty large too. I think she was 50. Some fans, probably advertising pieces and then a a wall of books. I've picked up a few books from her. A poem book, a tier design book, more art, linens, and then she's got a whole other like floor to ceiling bookcase with linens as well. I probably spent 30 minutes looking through them. And I've definitely bought some beautiful linens from her with monograms. I can think of a few, just gorgeous. So we're at a different store now, but I love how the uh, rhinestones were added onto that lamp. My daughter's birthday party is in about an hour and uh, she actually baked the cake last night and she's icing it now. And she's got a little table with snacks and activities and goodie bags and games. Got the happy birthday banner up. I got that for her first birthday and I put it up for all the birthdays in the house. Pick some flowers um, to decorate and that truck that just rolled up has to be my husband's new lazy boy, which means the basement is gonna look a little bit more finished. Yes, it is. That took approximately five minutes. So my husband will be so excited for that. <laughs> Besides the daffodils, I also picked some of the muscari and I put those in shakers and they're silver on the outside, but they have glass on the inside. So it makes it perfect to hold a little bit of water and some flowers. Nothing like having people over to just help you get your house in shape. <laughs> and I've got the little sculpture that I made for her out on display. I made this years ago. 
And what I'm noticing is I've got this little cake like place card holder, but I don't have another cake on display in there and I have one, so I'm gonna go get that. While I'm over here to get that mini cake, I thought I'd share some more decorations. So that is a painting that I did for her in 2020 uh, when the world was in lockdown. Her birthday was like two weeks after that. So nobody was able to come over. I think people just left presents on the porch. So I painted that for her. And that was the birthday cake that we had. Um, this happy birthday was her great grandmother's. This is a little Swarovski cake that I got at the church rummage sale. And this is what I did to the dome that Janet gave me. She said that the dome was her sister's and I put it on top of this pedestal, it fits pretty good. And I like it with the patterns right there. Here, I've got the postcard that I got at one of Gabby's sales. And then these little cake slices. In this box, I keep the rest of um, her great-grandmother's cake decorations. And then I have a little note in there that says who they belonged to. And I've got this spot in the swan where I can just put the ages every year. Here's this little cake. And I don't know, I feel like I used to have it here anyway. Like, should I put it on the chair? Does it work there? And then I grabbed these, this little porcelain piece. Pretty sure I picked that up at the hospital sale. Um, but when I stick the cake on it, it covers it up. So I don't want to do that. But that would be something perfect to add. And then I've got this big one. All right, so I'm gonna play around a little bit. So back to my collection. Um, I have these little cake toppers that I have saved. And I have these, this box is for my daughter. And then for my son, I actually made a scrapbook album for him. And I have um, his invitations and like any decorations or little, little cake candle things there. But um, for my daughter, I just have them in the box. Um, this little crown and the candle when she was two. This one was um, from her cake, which was beautiful. It was like an ombre pink rose cake. And, and then it, this was like a little banner hanging on top, garden party themed. These are from my friend Abby, I believe. So I'm gonna pop those on display real quick. Let's see. And I think that they look like um, candles. This year, she found these. We were um, with my mother-in-law and on their main street, they opened up a little bakery and those are a uh, metallic pink. So cute. And then this was there as well, like a little metallic -y plastic thing. So soon that will be added into the pile. And uh, she also has this really cute um, headband that says happy birthday too. So in here, I have collections of birthday candles. Most of them were found at one estate sale in the garage. And a lady, she, I mean, she just collected everything and had all kinds of cool stuff. And I opened a box and it was like this many all at once, like instant collection. And then I also have some candle holders and cupcake toppers. Not a ton though I used to have a lot more and I just kept the ones that I liked I think she's a bride but I feel like she also is a party girl so we got to put her out then I had this out at Valentine's Day but that's just a cute little pink dessert So today the crunch was on to get everything cleaned and organized. And I had been working on it all week, but you know, today was the day. So I think I washed every blanket, pillow, sheet imaginable in this house. Um, the girls are probably gonna sleep on the floor in sleeping bags, but my friend is staying and then my mom is gonna be coming. Um, but honestly, we've got enough beds, I think, for everyone, beds and pull out sofas. 
So I did a lot of laundry today. And then I also tried to take some things off of the flat surfaces because I like to do that when guests are coming so they have a spot for their things. Um, yes. And then this is my pillow that I got thrifting. Uh, insert and cover are washed. And this is where I had envisioned it on this chair. And then I've just got a blanket out in case this one isn't enough. And I think my daughter's friends will be arriving within five minutes. So I'm going to head out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in another one. Uh, and tomorrow, my friend and I, who's spending the night, we're going to a flea market. It's just a small one. Usually it takes me about half an hour to walk through it. But there could be a little little treasures that are found that I'll be able to share with you. And that's that. Bye. I'd like to add these, but I don't think I have the space. But the cake and the plate made it. And a little popsicle pin got stuck in the back.